So this is a poem addressing some like recent con controversy that's been going on in Tucson. Uh, a restaurant just opened up called Illegal Pete's. So there's a lot of protesting going on. So I just wanted to make my views on it clear. Okay. Dear Illegal Pete's, would you mind if I just called you Pete? Judging from what I've been hearing on the news lately, I'm guessing I cannot. Now I know what you're thinking, oh gosh, it's just a name, and it's just some random Mexican-American boy caught in the crossfire of controversy he has nothing to do with. I only have two things to say to you. Number one, it's racist. Number two, even if the intent was not insidious and the meaning was not meant to be malicious, it's still racist. This is not oversensitivity or a product of PC culture. This is called caring. This is called taking action. You dare place your disgraceful institution of discrimination into the middle of a fondue pot, boiling with talk of borders, brown skin and bilingual tongue, met with eyes full of hostility. The complaints in Colorado are not enough, so now you come here. And I get it. You think this is all one big overreaction? A misunderstanding, a storm, where there should only be a light sprinkle. But do not call this an overreaction, because if there is no reaction, shit does not change. If there is no reaction, we allow the progression of more serious discrimination. We will not be pushed around. And do not call this a misunderstanding, because my understanding of this is clear. The name is not popular, therefore the name should be removed simple. But I guess simple is something you'd rather ignore because when I open your webpage, I see some jolly white folk holding burritos and tacos oh, and nachos and oh, shit. I mean, that's nice. I mean, that's nice and all, but outside, outside, there's a Mexican man fighting for his family's survival. There's a family crawling across the face of the desert fighting for their survival and every day there is a family who can no longer fight because they are torn apart so can you really blame people for fighting for what they believe in? Every day a beautiful people are made to feel less like people and more like merchandise that ended up where it shouldn't be. Made to feel like some marijuana confiscated from the local weed man. They are called merchandise. So they begin to assume the mindset of merchandise. Inadequate, inhuman, illegal. So before you stop me to ask, what's the big deal? It's just food. I want to tell you that the people you are offending are the same people whose culture you have decided to take and serve up on a plate with a side of cheap peso. Dip microwave by some guy from Minnesota or New Hampshire or whatever. So before you say anything else, remember that these people who you are offending are the same people who you are benefiting from, so you must meet their demands. Furthermore, I do not care if you have Mexicans working in your establishment. I do not care if by illegals you did not mean this. Do not tell me you came to Tucson without it crossing your minds once. I do not care if Gabriel from Yelp was born and raised in Mexico and is not offended by the I do not care if you have resurrected Frida Kahlo and have her making fajitas while Cesar Chavez runs the cast register. I do not even care if God, him or herself, is a Mexican who came down from heaven and gave you specific permission to use this name. I do not care because after all this, it is racist. After all of this, people know it is offensive, whether it's some white kids in high school who thinks so, or maybe just some Chicano college students. Or maybe just some 16 year old poet who oh. possibly has nothing to do with this but it could be the boy who will have his mother sent away from him a week from now or the father who will come home crippled from exhaustion after a day of the job tomorrow or even a body in the desert covered in sand lost forgotten today these are the illegals Pete and I'm assuming you do not want to beat them Woo!